Many people who receive various types of social protection payments still find themselves living in poverty and pensioners who only receive the state pension can in many cases still be living in poverty and there's many pensioners and there's more and more of them that I'm coming across that aren't even getting the state pension because they've had, they have so many deductions and there's so many anomalies there and that's why I'd asked uh, previously a uh, leader for the Minister to come into the House to specifically talk about pensions because there's so much to talk about in this issue and the number of people that are living in poverty. But different circumstances such as health and geographical location, uh, carers duties means that the standard amount simply does not suffice uh, for pensioners. You know, I gave the example before, if somebody has to go, if a pensioner has to go from say Balmullet to Galway to a hospital appointment, it's a six mile round trip it costs over 200 euro on a taxi. There isn't any public transport. So that's a whole pension and more than a pension wiped out um, for one week. But I'm very glad to hear that Minister Regina Doherty will consider the Sinn Féin bill to establish a social welfare commission. The bill was introduced by Sinn Féin spokesperson for employment affairs and social protection, John Brady, TD. And the Commission would examine the minimum essential income standard for the different household types and recommend the necessary rate increases in pensions to the Minister ahead of the budget each year. So I hope that we hear back from the Minister soon as the budgetary process is well underway and that the issue of pensioner poverty is tackled once and for all.